Hi guys, so in this video I'm going to show you my latest creation which is the 737 uh, landing gear. Uh, this one is not finished yet it, and uh, I built it uh, for me but uh, it's intended only for uh, cockpit builders. I'm not going to provide any type of uh, electronics uh, with it. And it's going to be available uh, on my website uh, pretty soon. But on my own, uh, on my own landing gear I I, uh, I decided to to add uh, the side tech uh, uh, to make the modification and add the side tech uh, switch uh, and connect it to my side tech switch panel and uh, as you can see here I wired up two long lever switches this is uh, this is pretty simple and. Uh, Right here you have the SciTech uh, switchboard with the LEDs and uh, so on. So um, in, order to, in order to do this uh, mod, you will have to take apart the SciTech switch panel. Now imagine mine like uh, if it was uh, new, because mine was through a lot of things. So um, if this was new, the only thing I would uh, need to do is uh, take this uh, back part off and uh, anyway arrive to the SciTech uh, landing gear switch knob which is this and um, here you have the ground and two wires for uh, inputs which should be the ones here so the the ground uh, connections are these ones this goes together to the to the ground wire of uh, of uh, this SciTech switch knob and the inputs goes uh, one input here one uh, over there the only thing about this is that uh, if you still want to use um, uh, the switches uh, it's kind of uh, hard to attach them uh, back here uh, you you are going to need to make uh, these wires longer or something or if, if you don't know what you are doing you better leave it alone and uh, if you don't want to use this uh, part of the switch panel uh, it's gonna be much more easier as, uh, as you can see here that uh, if you want to do like me um, to add the switchboard uh, back here it's uh, way easier because the SciTech switch uh, switches are connected uh, uh, right over here I know if you can see it and uh, to connect those and keep them connected is kind of uh, kind of hard unless you make the wires uh, longer. The only thing you need to to connect to it's it's the other switch uh, knob. This uh, must uh, remain uh, connected uh, through to the SciTech switchboard, and uh, the three wires are right here. So I'm gonna, I don't know if you can really see anything in here. So this is uh, the red wire, it's ground, which as I told you before goes uh, ground here and ground uh, down here. And uh, you need to make two, this is the ground, this is the, the wire which is uh, the red one. And uh, the grounds uh, can be connected together to, to the ground uh, switchboard wire. And then you have to, these are two inputs which uh, will be connected, uh, the inputs are uh, this one and the, the S, uh, this other one, which uh, can be connected uh, to, to the other two wires uh, that you can see here. Now uh, this modification, um, as I told you before, if you don't know what you're doing, uh, you better leave it alone. And uh, to be honest, it's pretty simple. It's not that hard, and if you accept to take apart your SciTech switch panel, uh, you're gonna be fine. I'm gonna uh, upload something, uh, some sort of uh, manu manual or something on my website uh, pretty soon with some uh, instructions on how to do it. And uh, right now, I'm gonna show you how it works. Now let's take this to the seam. Mm -hmm. 
hope it's still working. <laughs> so let's go through SPAD. Uh, come on. Why does it tell me that new hardware was found? It doesn't matter. And as you can see here, I have the SPAD uh, software. And as you can see, it's working. So now let's go to in the same. See if it's really working. And as you can see here, it's working pretty, pretty nice. Now I can do this one with one hand only, but I'm gonna try. So uh, that's about it, guys. If you have any questions, contact me on my website or uh, on my channel or uh, uh, whatever. Come on, whatever.